friends, it's Miss Baylise, and I am back to check in on you. I want to say a special hello to Adonis and Saul, who both reached out and said hello after my first video. Morgan and I are here, and I've been thinking, first of all, just how it's kind of strange right now. So I brought some things that would make us feel familiar, things that we know, like my rainbow cover-up. And then I brought my readers are leaders from the classroom so that we could see that. You might not be able to see it perfectly right now, but that's okay. But I know one thing that we might not have right now is our classmates, right? Some of you might be at home with just your brothers or sisters or aunts or uncles or grandmas or grandpas or dads or dogs or moms or cats, right? <laughs> But that's not the same as classmates, right? Morgan's like, Mom, you're kind of weird. So Morgan and I made some little creatures. If you have to do a turn and talk or you want to share what you learned about a book, you could always just talk to a little creature. Yes, Morgan. Um, we talked in about these in our other video, remember? Yeah. So this is my little creature that I made, and his nose fell off, or maybe it was his mouth and his nose. It's okay. I'm not going to fix him right now, Morgan. We're going to just keep going, even though Morgan thinks she knows where it is. I can fix it later for next time. I really do. Okay, Morgan, do you want to share yours, the little creature you made? My little creature is with a face mask. And if you don't see, they are behind her hair, she has ears. Yes, very fancy. And what about her little purse? Where's her purse? And we got her a little purse. So, we, Morgan and I love to craft, so we have lots of craft stuff at our home. And so that's where we made these creatures from. But even if you don't have lots of craft stuff at your home, you can make a little creature to be your friend. You know what Miss Bailey would say? Talk, pretend there's a little tiny person on your shoulder you're talking to. Well, now you can just have this little guy there to talk to. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, Miss Bailey, you're totally nuts. Right, Marks? Okay, so but, we're going to show you how to do it. But can you bring them inside to school? Well, the good news is this is school right here for now, right? So our friends are going to watch videos and learn that way. Would you take that into Mr. Jorge's class, though? <laughs> what would he say, huh? <laughs> All right, so the things you need are a toilet paper roll. I bet everybody's got this at your house, huh? That's all that's underneath my little green, dude. And then if you have tape or glue, that would help. Markers might be fun. And other than that, you can come up with your own ideas. Morgan. And this is underneath mine, too, because if you put it under here, it, it's, like, really hard. Yeah, so it's strong. It'll stay working, right? Thank you. Okay, so here's the one I have, and then these are some things I found around the house. Um, Donald, my husband, had some duct tape, which is cool. It's just the plain silver kind, but it'll work. I found a couple of rubber bands, so this cool little green one. I have scissors here. I found a red one. Look at you guys. Can anybody guess what this is from? Oh, I know where it's from. It's from our grandpa's and grandma's house. No, you know what, actually? It's from a bag of mandarinas. <laughs> so if you have cuties or clementines at your house, I just cut this off the bag. <laughs> and then this is from Morgan's favorite bread. I cut it off the bag. And she loves purple, too. So My mom is cuckoo. Well, I'm just, you know, trying to get creative here. So I'm going to cut this this purple part, and we'll make my little creature here purple. Actually, looks very pretty. It is. It's a really nice color, huh, Morgan? It's a really nice color of purple. Yeah, you love purple. Yeah. So I'll use the rubber bands to kind of hold them on there. My purple is my favorite color. Yeah, it is. It's true. Ooh, this rubber band is kind of stuck. So, okay, so it's purple so far. If you don't have none of this at home, maybe you can buy it on, on. No, nope. They can find things at their house. We're not worried about buying things online right now, okay? Just things you can find at your house. What if we made this like a cape almost for this thing? What do you think, Morgan? Yeah, I think I would like it for but it kind of looks like hair instead of cape. Oh, it does kind of look like hair. Well, it can be like a hairy cape. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay, so there we go. We've got that. And then maybe I will draw on some eyes here. As you see, she is kooky. I'm a kooky lady. That's, what we, that's how we have fun, right? Is by being a little um, silly. Yes, my love. Um, can I show the thingy um, uh -huh, in when, just a second. when we're done with this? Okay, so I think Morgan's right. It does kind of look like hair, huh? What's that? Who's that girl um, with the red hair in Brave? Maybe it looks kind of like her. Or Ariel has red hair. I'm going to see if I can squeeze this rubber band on the bottom. Like a cool, stylish accessory. Oh, I can't make it fit. Okay, this is going to do for now. You will see these creatures in our videos. Maybe we'll come up with names for them. And we'll talk to them about what we're reading and what we're doing and learning. Just leave that, please, Marks. And if you make one, you guys can share it with me. Um on the comments or on Class Dojo, no, and I'll let you know other ways, okay? So, I miss you. If you guys want to make a little toilet paper creature, have fun with it, and we will see these next time when we finally get around to reading the book about worms, okay? Morgan has one last thing to show you before we go. So, also at home, um, where you keep trying to learn, you can also learn about this. So, maybe your parents can hide um, the, the, one of the words and maybe they can hide the, the other words somewhere else and then you need, and then you guys need to find them. So Morgan, you made a picture with some letters hidden in it, right? Yeah. And then some, and maybe Shavi's gonna have to find the letters in your picture, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. I miss you. I'm looking forward to talking with you and seeing your creations and getting ready to learn. All right. Bye, my friends.